What is up Rad Fam? Coming at you today with a video all about some budget bikepacking options, most notably this fork bag that I have got rigged up here. Also going to be talking about a cheaper option for the feed sack feed bag that kind of hangs off your handlebar. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Ryan and this is the Rad Bike Adventure. And this is the channel where we talk all about things bike related, usually bike touring, bike packing. We try to keep it fun and accessible. So today we're talking about some budget, uh, budget options for bike packing, because as we know, sometimes the gear can get a little pricey. And while it's really nice to be able to support local makers and, you know, handmade gear that is made in the USA or wherever else you live, um, sometimes you just need to do something on a budget. So. What I have come up with, kind of in the same vein as the kitty litter panniers, I was having my protein powder the other day. <laughs> this is not an advertisement for any sort of protein powder or gain or otherwise. Um, but I was like, you know, this container is actually like the perfect size for a fork bag. And so I checked it out and put it, strapped it onto the fork and it actually works really, really well. So yeah, this was the protein powder we got. We got the 2.64 pound one at Costco. Um, you can also order this on Amazon. I just really like this size. And if you're like, Ryan, I don't eat protein powder. $28 is still kind of expensive. Well, A, you're gonna get all the protein powder and I actually do really recommend this one. We've tried a bunch and this is my favorite by far, this brand. Um, but I'm sure you know someone that has protein powder in their life and you can also get like a cheaper version. They have a bunch of different ones at Trader Joe's that come in a little bit smaller container that usually those are like 10 bucks. And again, you're gonna get to eat whatever's in there and then you just have this container. Let's see how wide this is. How girthy is this container? Almost about 17 and a half inches around. You guys are gonna be in the grocery store just like measuring protein. <laughs> protein powder container to go like, what the hell are you doing? Half. This is nine and a half inches tall, my friends. So of course we went from this to this and just taking all the labels off, obviously eating all the protein powder that is inside, giving it a good washout. There it is. It smells, um, does it have, maybe it has a hint, just a hint of chocolate. So make sure you get a flavor you like. <laughs> We stickered it up, gave it a little bit of life, you know, a little bit of personality, and now we have this. So obviously, you don't you don't have to do this, you don't have to sticker it up, but I thought it would be fun to sticker it up. And uh, yeah, I think that looks kind of cool on the bike. We're gonna wonder the weight as well. It is five ounces, so not ultra light, but not super heavy either. A buoy bag is a comparison. This one weighs 4.5 ounces, so it is um, a half ounce lighter. These run about $70. This one is seven and a half liters. And this one I uh, measured and you can only have, what I wrote it on the bottom there, 3.5 liters of water when I filled that up. So not a gigantic container. Oh, we also did, um, we made a review about these awesome fork bags. Love these buoy bags from Roadrunner, made in Los Angeles. So I'll put a link, I'll put a link to the video up here if you wanna check those out. Five ounces, 3.5 liters, and the opening is pretty wide. There's my hands, okay? Easy to get your hand in and out of there to get your gear out. So let's see what it's like stacking in some gear, what you could put in there. All right, another option for your protein canister. I think I'm just gonna call it a canister, fork canister. I like that. Another option is to put some clothing in there. So I've got my poofy jacket and my rain gear. Let's see if we can get it to fit in there. There you have it. Canister of clothing. Huh? Definitely put snacks in there. Plenty of room to spare. Okay, and lastly, something else you could put in there would be like a, a first aid kit. Squish it up a little bit. And just to show you guys, right? So it's in there like that. And then when you when you go to pull it out, it's it's not terribly difficult to get it out, okay? So if you guys are worried about that. Another thing that I would probably think about putting in there would be like a tool roll. So just your, your usual tools, uh, chain breaker, tire lever, some flat repair, yada yada stuff. I've got a multi-tool in here as well. Boop, multi-tool. Those are both in there. Let's see, I'm gonna put some cordage. 
I always like to have cordage. I don't know, that's just me. Gonna put an emergency blanket in there. You get the point, you can put quite a few things in there. Boom, <laughs> there it is, right? Nice and protected from the elements and waterproof, that's huge. Now let's uh, talk about sticking it on the bike. Okay, so what I've got on here is a Blackburn cage and that is definitely a budget option for fork cages. We also made a review about these sport cages, so I will link that video up here. So if you're like, Ryan, I don't have a bike that's fancy enough to have the little nubs to put the fork cages on, no problem. Grab yourself some electrical tape. I have seen people um, attach their racks, their fork racks, just with electrical tape. What you want to do first is electrical tape all around your fork so you, it's protected, right? So you're just going to wrap, 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 wrap and then you literally can just attach it with electrical tape. Um, another option would be to get some cheap hose clamps from the hardware store. So then it's electrical tape and then you're hose clamping the fork rack onto the bike like so. So that is one way to do it. And again, these Blackburn cages are not super expensive and they're really, really sturdy and robust. So I do recommend them. I've also got a volet strap. You don't have to have a volet strap. I know those are kind of pricey these fork racks do come with their own straps that would work very well. So check this out. It just, I feel like it just snugs on there so, so well. This is all it takes. I could probably do two straps, but even with just the one, it's pretty secure on there, right? Like if it's bumping around. Not bad, right? Not bad. I'm gonna take it out on the trail and show you guys what it's like having two on there. But with just the one, you get a good example of uh, our hobo kind of kitty litter style fork bags. What do you guys think about that? Give me a thumbs up if you are digging this video and you like this budget hack. It does work with the 20 inch, but it's all the way kind of at the end. So you could, could do it with the 20 inch as well. It's, it's really secure on there. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about in our, in our budget bike packing bag series is a cheap, handlebar feed sack sort of thing. And what I've got here is just a drink, a water bottle holder. I will link to um, a set of something similar to this in the description down below. Again, if you're on a budget and you can't afford to buy the ones that are like 50, $60, then this is a great option because usually you can find them for like 10 bucks. So I'll show you what I fit in mine. And usually I'll just like stick in you know, my wallet and my phone, maybe like some sunblock or like a little tool in there. And that's about all I'm gonna get in there. So you have to make a little bit of a trade off with that because it's not quite as wide, but again, it still works. It still has the same function and it's a heck of a lot cheaper. So if you're on a budget, try looking for just a water bottle bag. And usually you gotta look for ones that have a, just at least two straps. Like this one has one here, cause I think they're expecting you to like attach this to a backpack or your belt loop. And then again, this one has another strap here that I just used a little Velcro piece to come around to attach it. So as long as it has two points of attachment, you're usually good. So again, it has one there and one there and that works pretty well. Cause I'm not putting anything super, super heavy in there. And when I'm riding, oops, it's fine. It doesn't move around too much. And the weight of the objects in there just keep it hanging nicely out of my way. Like my knee's not gonna hit that or anything. So that is another option for bike packing bags on a budget. So far it's handling really well, super secure. I already got some compliments. <laughs> All right, 
right guys, I'm gonna end the video here on the trail after I just uh, did some testing with them. They feel great, as I knew they would. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is a protein powder cargo, what do they call them? Canteen, canteen canister carrier fork bag worth it? Is it robust enough? Let me know what you think. The only thing I can think of that could be problematic is if they got dropped or something and cracked, then you'd kind of be SOL. But otherwise, I like the way they look. I already got some compliments on them, actually. People were very curious as to uh, what I was rocking on my forks. I still love my little pouch here that is just a water bottle holder, super cheap. Again, just some budget options for you guys for bike packing. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, slam that thumbs up. It helps the video. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. All right, remember to ride on. Bye. There that is. Bye.